Okay, my name is Christian Rojas and today I'm going to talk about an article of science dialogue. On the one hand, the authors decide to start this research to try to find a way to connect various parts of the world to communicate with each other through the use of synapses between artificial neurons and natural neurons the process was carried out by cultivating rat neurons at the University of Padua in Italy and at the same time the University of Zurich created artificial neurons on silicon microchips using a configuration made by the University from Southampton they send information and data through biological neurons and artificial neurons from Italy to Switzerland and in the opposite direction in the same way sending signals in the form of spikes realizing that biological and artificial neur neurons can communicate in a bidirect a bidirectional way in a real time. Temis Prodromakis, the director of the Electronic Frontier Center at the University of Southampton, says that thanks to this new technology, the integration of di different knowledge and use of, di of technology that were previously very distant may be under the same roof. In my area of study, this finding is incredible for the implementation to, of practices with the state of the art technology in real time for much faster and more accurate communication. The most innovative on this finding are all the future implementations that can be given when mixing them with the human being because it can generate incredible chains for the matching human connection. So this article uh, due to the mix it has with the bioengineering which is the branch in which I would like to specialize and the name caught my attention. It generates many ideas for the construction of projects that could revolutionize uh, the entire world in an absolutely uh, incredible way. In the presentation, artificial neurons versus biological neurons, uh, this picture explains uh, how the biological neuron is connected uh, with an um, artificial neuron. In the left side, the biological neuron, uh, right here, and in the right side, uh, the electronic neuron or the artificial neuron, in this case, um, have the parts to to connect the, with the um, biological neuron uh, with the uh, artificial neuron. In the second in the second presentation, um, I show I show you a memory restore. It is like a resistor, but in this case, it comp it electronic component is created for um, half an experience or an a function uh, like a resistor but with a memory uh, in this case it's used to receive uh, signals of our uh, uh, mind and uh, have these signals in his memory and uh, permit the pass of the current or don't permit the pass of the current um, with the neural signals is like in this case um, the signals received uh, in the Zurich University for the um, biological neurons and um, uh, are two examples of signals with a form of uh, spikes um, continue to this I go to show you a, a short video about um, the connection between electronic or artificial neurons and biological neurons. Now we will see in brief the basic difference between biological neural networks and artificial neural networks. The first one is that the biological neural networks are slower than artificial neural networks. This is because biological neural networks include chemicals like neurotransmitters whereas artificial neural networks work completely on electrical signals. Hence, the time of artificial neural networks to work is, is in nanoseconds. The second point is that the biological neural networks are fault tolerant. 
fault tolerant means even if some part of the neuron is damaged then it will still work at a slower rate but it will still work whereas in an artificial neural network if some part of the neuron gets damaged or gets affected then the artificial neural network will not work the next one is biological neural networks are very complex and massively parallel operating models whereas complexity is increasing but not anywhere close to biological in the case of artificial neural networks the, the next point is that the biological neural networks use chemical called neurotransmitters you in biological neural networks there is no central control unit for guiding the neuron what to do next whereas in artificial neural networks there is a control unit responsible for feeding the inputs and that is all